Hey everybody, I'm Matt Torres, and I really can't believe it. I've hit 100 subscribers. I started this channel about two months ago. I'm really, really happy at where we got so far. I'm really proud of myself that I'm able to produce good quality videos for you guys. And let's keep it up. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers by the end of this year. And for this video, I'm going to do something special. I'm going to be reviewing a shoe that is very dear to my heart. My first pair of Jordans. This is the Jordan 3 Infrared 23, and this is how it became my first pair of Jordans. Hey. Alright, a little background to the shoe. The shoe released back in 2014. It really is the first time we see an infrared colorway released to a Jordan 3. And I gotta say, it really looks amazing. Starting with the sole of the shoe, we kind of get a modern style Jordan. The Jordan logo right there, colored in red. So we got red up here, black and white. Coming up to the midsole of the shoe, it's really nice. Along the toe, we get white with gray and black elephant print with black on the bottom right here. Around the other side, we got a we got a streak of black on top of a streak of white. It's wrapped all the way around the shoe to the other side where half of it is white and the other half is black. Very clean look in my opinion. Now for the uppers of these shoes, nice tumble leather, which I really like. Gives a real premium feel to the shoe. Majority of it is covered in white, but if we move up to the center of the shoe, it has a nice contrast of black all over it. And so you see, if you look closely, the eyelids on the laces are all red which I think makes the shoes pop out a bit. Of course, for lacing of these shoes, I like to keep them loosey-goosey. I feel that makes it look cooler and is the most comfortable to wear. The tongue is black with a white jump man in the middle. Very nice, I like that black and white contrast. Coming to the back of the shoe, we got a white pull tab with a black jump man logo on the back. Really wish it had the Nike Air, but this released in 2014 where they're really not really doing that. And this is not a OG retro of one of the original colorways, which I guess kind of makes sense. For the interior of the shoe, it's pretty much all black black insole and everything. And that is all there is to it to this shoe. It kind of looks like the white cement, just with more black contrasting. Which in my opinion, I think these looks better than the white cement. Some may disagree, but that's just my opinion. Plus these shoes hold a sentimental value to me. So the story behind these shoes. Around the time I was getting into shoes, I really didn't have the money to get into Jordan. I was trying to save up for a car. Until one day, I walked into Plato's Closet, which is kind of like a thrift store. And I was walking around the shoe section trying to find something decent to wear. And then I came across these. I really can't believe someone came in and like turned these things in for like $10. I immediately picked up the shoe, looked at it, saw it was my size, and ran to buy them. They were only $25. And this really was the shoe that spawned my sneaker addiction. As soon as I put these shoes on, I knew I just had to get more sneakers. It was like an instant love for sneakers. And yeah, that's my story of my first pair of Jordans. I thrifted these pretty much, which I like to think is a very humble beginning. All right, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed this 100 subscriber special. If you liked this video, please leave a like, comment what shoes I should review next, and please subscribe. Let's keep those subscribers rolling. This really means the world to me. And now I'm just gonna exit out what's on feed footage. Let's get to it. Chase